This is an ongoing investigation, so the details are still limited at this point, but we are told by the Colleton County School District that the fight occurred in a fifth grade classroom at Forest Hills Elementary School. They say that a female student suffered injuries and was airlifted from the school right here to the Medical University of South Carolina for treatment. At this time, we do not have the specifics on the severity of the injuries sustained by the student or her condition, but the Colleton County Sheriff's Office is conducting a thorough investigation into the fight. They have specified that the fight occurred between two students. I spoke with a concerned parent of a student at Forest Hills Elementary, and she says that she believes this is a case of bullying, and she blames the school administration for letting this happen. It was a bullying, and like I said, Someone's not keeping a good eye on these children like they're supposed to. For a child to get airlifted, she had to be injured pretty bad. And with an injury like that, it's not just a scrape or a fall where you can go to the nurse. That, that needs serious attention. And like I said, once again, where are the adults? Where are the administrators when this is going on? The school district has addressed the fight on their Facebook page yesterday. In that post, they say that a student from the school has been suspended until the investigation is complete. A concerned parent says that the Facebook post was not enough to console her. She wishes that the school administration would have called or emailed all parents addressing the fight, but she says they did not. The school hasn't sent any notes like it's been an incident, you know, nothing. They don't send anything. There are a lot of posts circulating on social media about the identity of the fifth grader who's receiving treatment at MUSC. But right now, authorities have not released the identity of the victim. In a statement from the Colleton County School District, they say, quote, because this is an ongoing investigation, we ask that the community understands that the information we share is limited, end quote. Our News 2 team will continue to follow this investigation, and as the details are released from the Colton County Sheriff's Office and School District, we will continue to update you. Reporting at MUSC in downtown Charleston, Taylor Murray, Count on 2.